pleasure it is to, to be here and to be a part of the New Orleans Hornets and Monty Williams staff. And, uh, you know, Monty touched on quite a few words that, you know, uh, I've learned as a coach of a son. He talked about work ethic, he talked about loyalty, and he talked about trust. And, uh, you know, we had that in Cleveland. We had great success. And, uh, and I look forward to being a part of something special here. And this is just uh, another challenge for me and my family coming down here and trying to build something special. And, uh, you know, it's going to be great working with Brian and James. And, you know, you, are, you asked a very interesting question about working with the first time head coach when Mike Brown took over. That was his first chance as a head coach and uh, had a chance to work with Mike and we had great success. Didn't win a championship but you know uh, we got pretty close a couple of times but it's just all about coming in together, being on the same page, uh, communicating with your players and you know uh, I think we have a chance to do something really special here. Mike, what kind of problems might Monty uh, encounter as a first year head coach and how do you think you can help them help him bridge those problems? Well you know the biggest difference between an assistant coach and a head coach is that you know as assistants we make suggestions. Head coaches make decisions and that's the biggest difference for Monty that, that one seat over is it's not just suggesting to Nate McMillan or to Mike Brown, it's now you make that final decision and uh, within the game of basketball there are a lot of decisions made within those 48 minutes so having gone through it with Mike trying to help him through the pitfalls and you know coaching guys like LeBron James and Shaquille O'Neal you know high profile players um, you know hopefully I can help with guys like Chris Paul and, and David West because it's not just about basketball X's and O's at times it's about how you communicate how you get your guys to buy in uh, and be committed to what you're trying to preach. I've heard you mentioned as a defensive guru. I understand you, you coach yeah. with Tom Thibodeau and whatnot. I mean, is that is, is, is that the way you understand that you're seen around the league? Well, you know what? Uh, last year when John Kuster left our staff and got the head job in Detroit, I was a defensive coordinator prior to that. And when he left, Mike Brown elevated me to the top assistant, and I was the offensive coordinator this past year. And uh, Mike Brown, I give a lot of credit because he said to me, he goes, this is going to help you become more of a complete coach. You know, you don't want to be pigeonholed as just a defensive guy. You want to show people you can coach both sides of the ball. So, you know, uh, I've been fortunate to coach around some, some very good coaches, starting with my father, Jeff Van Gundy, Lenny Wilkins, Don Chaney, Mike Brown, and now Monty. And uh, I think I have a good feel for the game, but you know, uh, I, I like to consider myself a complete basketball coach. Well, I talk about how important it was for you and, uh, I guess, Pop, Coach Popovich to sort of, uh, is it safe to say you guys are drinking buddies over in Argentina, <laughs> or, or what was the story there? Well, you know what, I, I owe Coach Popovich a, a, a whole lot because I got my last two jobs, and he was a big part of me getting those jobs, and we spent a week in Argentina with the NBA's Basketball Without Borders program, and uh, he said to me this time, he goes, Malone, you've never helped me win one game in the NBA, but I keep on getting your jobs in the NBA. And uh, so I, hum I owe him a lot, and uh, I look forward to repaying him one day. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Mike.